Hey everybody, uh, Dan here from Hands On Music. Uh, we're going to do another bench series video today. Um, got a customer's guitar, a bass guitar for, uh, it's actually a high school's, uh, and it doesn't work. We're going to find out why and remedy the situation. So first off, we plug this uh, bass in and we have absolutely nothing. No signal, no sound. Um, so then we put it up on the bench and the first thing I notice is these knobs are loose, which is usually an indication that uh, they've twisted and broken off a wire. So uh, I'm going to open it up and see what's going on. Okay, so as you can see these wires are quite twisted, so that means the uh, pot has been loose for some time. And uh, usually people just keep turning it and turning it and twist the wires up and eventually they break off. So what we're probably going to have to do is uh, do a little soldering, a little rewiring, anything that's uh, a mess. Right now I'm just looking to see what all's going on. Definitely got the ground wire of the pickup broken off and uh, everything's twisted up pretty bad so I'm going to Gotta take the pots off and uh, reset these pots into their proper place. Okay, so what we found out was the tone pot itself is completely broken. The potentiometer here is uh, just toast, so we're gonna replace that in its entirety. That's gonna be a few solders. And the other thing was just the volume pot was just twisted up, but uh, it's going to work fine. We'll just replace it and tighten everything back up. I have ready to go uh, a new pot for the volume, or so for, sorry, for the tone. Um, so I'm just going to remove this one, which is completely broken. Um, normally I would try to desolder some of these wires, but in this case they're pretty bad anyway. So I'm just going to cut them and re reconnect them all properly. Um, we have it uh, wired up, it's going to function nicely, and the volume, everything now is properly connected and wired, so when we put it back together, it should work just nice. We're going to try that now, and barring that the input jack is good, we should have a functioning base once again. So yeah, we plugged it all in and tried everything, and uh, it just wasn't poor connection on the uh, other pot as well, the one that we didn't address too much. So I took it out, we're just going to completely redo every connection on every terminal on the volume pot. It's just going to be better. Um, so I've just kind of prepped it a little bit, taking some of the old solder off. What I'm going to do is just re-solder everything where it belongs, and then we're going to give that a try, see how it works. Okay, so I just re-soldered all the connections on the terminals of the volume pot. Uh, everything is back the way it should be. We're just going to plug it in now and give it a try, make sure it works this time. And that's a good sound. We got volume, and we got tone. So everything's back. The switch works perfectly too, so everything's back the way it should be. I'm just going to clean it up and finish uh, screwing everything back together and get it ready for the uh, customer. 